In this video, I would like to show you how we can generate some random numbers in MATLAB. So for this purpose, you can first of all use the rand function. So the rand function basically generates um, so-called pseudo-random numbers, which are, which are uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. So every time I run the rand function, it's going to generate another random number between 0 and 1. Okay, and you can also use, let's say, 5 by 2. So you can see that it will generate a matrix of random numbers this time, which has 5 rows and 2 columns. So suppose you created random numbers, let's say 100 of them as x, and suppose my y is another 100 random numbers created. And I can actually make a plot of x and y, and I can put them as dots in a two-dimensional space where the first dimension consists of the basically the first dimension which is coming from the first 100, and on the y-axis we have the second 100 uh, random numbers generated. So we can project them on a two-dimensional unit square. And this is how it looks like, and they really look like randomly scattered over the unit square, as we can see here. So what about if I want to generate some normal random variables instead of uniform random variables? Then again, that's quite easy in MATLAB. You can use this norm RND function. <clears throat> it's going to create the 1000 by 1 vector of normal random variables with mean equals to 0 and the variance equals to 1 okay and basically after I generate these numbers suppose I want to create a histogram for this data that I generate and you can do that it will show us the histogram basically the frequency of um, the normal random variables are displayed on the y-axis and basically x-axis is the range of the uh, values that we generated so as expected standard normal random variables are mostly within uh, between minus 4 and 4 since our standard deviation is equals to 1 and if you like to actually superimpose a normal density additional to the histogram you can use histfit built-in function and as you can see this red line is the superimposed normal uh, density function and we have also our histogram as these uh, with these blue bars okay uh, another thing we can do is basically we can uh, fit because we have generated some normal random data here and this time we can fit the parameters of the normal distribution by using the norm fit function again is another built-in function in MATLAB so if you run this it's going to return you the estimated mean and estimated uh, sigma standard deviation from the data that we generated so this is not exactly 0 and 1 that's obviously because we have simulated we have imitated the normality and therefore we cannot expect a perfect uh, match with the theoretical uh, mean and the population standard deviation. So this is the, the case when you do a simulation later on as well. Uh, it's going to be a replication of the theoretical distribution or the process that we are going to use and we can only expect to get a close estimate uh, when we work with the simulated data. So you can also calculate what's the mean of the data, what's the standard deviation, skewness and kurtosis by these built-in functions in MATLAB. So you can evaluate these as well. And you can notice that the, the mean is basically what you estimate uh, in the norm fit function, which is minus 0.01. 
and again you have the population uh, sorry you have the sample standard deviation as, as 0 0.99.995 uh, and we have a slightly negative skew and the kurtosis is expected uh, to be close to uh, 3 right because in the theoretically speaking the normal distribution the kurtosis should be equal to 3 but again since this is a simulated data uh, what we will get will be uh, slightly different from the theoretical values that uh, one should expect 